Hey guys, so I just want to do a follow-up video with you. I told you I would um, once all my accessories were installed. So here we are. So I'll first go over the main things. I got a front windshield. I ordered on Amazon. Um, actually, no, this was UTV Direct. Um, the rear windshield was Amazon. But anyway, this went on pretty easy. There's six total clamps, uh, four on the sides, two on each, and then two on the top. Uh, that only took maybe half an hour to install. I got some nice uh, mirrors for each side. They actually are pretty nice looking. Uh, they're kind of stylish. They're not just a traditional looking one that's just kind of flat. It's got some cool uh, grooves in them and designs and stuff. Uh, I also got a windshield wiper, as you can see. Works quite easy. Just move it up and down. Just a manual wiper, nothing fancy. Um, still only have four miles on it, so I just wanted to touch this uh, before I forget. So you've got two buttons here. Got one on the left and one on the right of the Kawasaki logo there. Um, when you buy these, they come in kilometers. Um, and obviously anyone here wants to switch it to miles per hour. So how you do that is you hold the right button down for two seconds and at two seconds you click this left button and while holding that in you click this after two seconds again um, and it will switch to miles per hour. It worked for me the first try so if you guys are struggling with that that's the trick. Um, so I bought a roof, got that right from Kawasaki. Um, I also got mats right from them, right from their main site uh it's their custom custom fit for the uh mule pro mx so it's kind of cool this one says mule on it uh, this is the bed mat it's pretty sturdy fits in all these grooves pretty nice um i don't know how much you can see because it's kind of dark in here but uh, here is bed mats or not bed mats geez uh floor mats for the front and they match same thing, they got the Mule logo in them, which is cool. Kind of a nice little touch. Uh, same tires. I know they're they're pretty impressive tires for coming from the factory, but everyone, I've talked to a couple different people and they think that I had those added on, but they are pretty nice. Um, so still the LED and halogen lights. Um, what else did I add? Yeah, so just the rear windshield here. Um, I was debating at first whether to actually get a rear windshield. It seemed kind of pointless to me because as long as I have the front and the roof, that's all I really cared about. But, uh, I read a couple forums and spoke with a couple friends and they said, if you're riding a really dusty path, um, or trail somewhere that you're definitely going to want the rear windshield. Uh, if you guys are wondering about that, because, uh, which would make sense, uh, if any of you have ever, you know, been in the back of a truck, in the bed of a truck, you'll know that things just fly up on top of you. It kind of creates a suction when you're driving. So that's how this would be with a, a you know, a dirty road or a trail. You'd get uh, all that dust suction right back into the cab, which would not be fun. So, um, so I bought both of them and it's really nice. It's almost, almost a full cab now. I uh, just would need the other top half of the doors with a seal, obviously, but um, but yeah, it's pretty nice. I'll get on the inside for you, but I also got a, a hitch for the back because I plan on doing firewood. It's just a two-inch receiver with a two-inch ball, but give you a couple different views on how it looks with all the accessories on it. I think it looks pretty impressive for a more of a, you know, for more of a ut uh, utility vehicle style. You know, these are meant more for utility than, you know, messing around and having fun like you would with like a, you know, a Terex or Razor or, you know, a Maverick or something. But I think it looks pretty nice. Not bad looking at all. I'm very happy with it. It kind of looked bland in the beginning with nothing on it, but now it, looks pretty complete looks like the real deal i'll give you a little view on the interior so 
So this is how it looks. This rear uh, windshield is actually really nice. You can see quite a length on this. I looked at some of them that were little tiny things and this one actually covers the full width of the road. Got your rear view mirror, rear view mirror on the left here. And then that one for the passenger or you can turn it more in for yourself. I added that cool little badge. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, I hope you guys like it.